Hi, my name is Rachel. Welcome to my channel, Learning with Boys. Today, I just want to share some things with you that we have used for elementary science. But first, I want to share with you a book that I got this year, and it's new, and my fourth grader is enjoying looking at it, and it's Wonders of Creation, put out by Masterbooks. Um, it's just one of those books that I just sort of keep on the coffee table. It's got lots of visuals and different information about different subjects. So, and we've really been enjoying that. We were actually studying something about the desert and the ants, the particular ants that are in the desert. And he was looking at this book one day and found them in there. So he was really excited about that. And one other thing I wanna tell you about before I get into the particular curriculum that we really enjoyed using when my boys were in the elementary age, my older boys, was something that we've been using all along, even to this day, that my older boys still will listen to, and that is the Jonathan Park CDs. Um, they are more of a creation science, and they, they point you to Christ and um, God's creation and all the wonderful things that he has done. We have like 10 of these, 10 sets, and usually there's at least two, two full stories um, per CD. And the first one, this says, The Adventure Begins, starts with um, the secret of the hidden cave. So, and my son started listening, my youngest, I should say, my youngest, who was in third grade last year, started listening to these and just really, is there another one, Mom? Is there another one, Mom? <laughs> but there's so many good things. It's about a young boy, Jonathan Park, of course, and his um, dad was a paleontologist and he seen the truth and got saved and um, because of that had to move on to find a different job and work and um, they met another family who was a Christians and were homeschoolers so that's sort of neat but um, the and just all kinds of discoveries like from dinosaur bones to um, scrolls, all kinds of different things. They have one about undersea, lots of talk about different animals and how they point to the creator. So I really want to encourage if you need something for your kids to listen to traveling, and that's what we did for a long time. They, they would listen to these traveling, but even to tell you the truth, he likes to listen to these while he builds his Lego sets. So. <laughs> But I wanted to mention that to you, and I'm gonna now I'm gonna turn you around and show you what we used and how we used it in different ways. Um, the curriculum considering God's creation. Okay, this is the curriculum that I used when my boys were younger for elementary science. It is Eagle's Wings. That's who it is by considering God's creation, a creative biblical approach of natural science to natural science. Okay. It comes with a teacher's manual and a student's book. I'll show you the teacher's manual real quick. And then I wanna show you some different ways that I incorporated it into our schooling. Um, there is a lot in here. It starts with creation, stars, earth, rocks and minerals, weather, the plant kingdom, the animal kingdom, animal anatomy, physiology, um, man made in God's image, and then there's some miscellaneous stuff in the back of the book, and then it has an introduction, and it, um, the first lesson, creation, and each lesson will be similar to this, but it gives you a little preparation and what to do, and when it talks about the notebook pages, it's meaning the student book, vocabulary words that they will give you and each like the I mean there's only two here but some of them like I seen like well here's one that is about um, non living things rocks and minerals so there's a few more vocabulary words so there's always I would say two to five maybe six vocabulary words um, and then gives you an introduction and really most of it is what I mean you could just read this um, you could read through it and then talk to your child or children about it. it. Gives you a song and poem, usually some Bible reading, and then it gets into the notebook pages. Um, there's an evolution stumper. 
a review, and then there's always a digging deeper in the lessons, and that is for, um, usually if you have older children, I would say, you know, like sixth grade, fifth, sixth grade. But I will explain how I, some of the information that I got from these. And then I wanna show you the student book. Um, it's pretty hands-on. This is talking about, um, let's see. Okay, we get into the weather, that's a page. And the weather recipe, and this will all be cut out. Cloud cover, things to fill in. And that's just about clouds. I'm gonna sort of, we got trees, making sense of insects, and then animals, deep blue sea. And all this will be like, you'll make it into a notebook. Here's a My Zoo Adventure. Um, things about animals, animal tracks, things about birds. Beaks and feet show where birds live and what they eat. Praise. And then um, when it gets into man, oops, well, there's migration. Thought we were getting a little closer there. Cell City. You make a whole, I think, couple pages of this. And then God Made Me. And then you will end up making all the insides. So there is a lot in this. To me, it is a program that could really take a couple years to do. You don't have to do all this. I mean, you could probably stretch it over three. And um, some of the pages I wanted to show you, like the very first thing when it talks about creation. Um, this was one of the first pages, and there's some things to fill out. But what I liked about it so much, especially you have to think, you know, little children, and just thinking how much they mean to God and considering God's universe and how big it is and how many things, the Milky Way, the solar system, the earth, then America, the United States, and then the, um, I think that's Colorado and the Rocky Mountains and then the forest trees. And then finally it gets to you and just in God's, all these things that God's created and how important man is to him. So sort of starts out that way so we really liked that um, I usually let them we'd make a whole notebook and this would be a cover page for that just showing you some samples um, here's one of the pages from the rock cycles and usually they have things you cut out and you would flip through to get more information and then um, one thing that we did we would do pages but sometimes we would go a little deeper. So how far can you dig deeper in this program? Yes, you can. <laughs> and that's what I loved about it. Um, actually, I'll show you this first. This was the planets. And see if I can hold this up because you can put this in a notebook. But it, um, it's like the planets and then the sun. And you just sort of hang it in the solar system. So we did make this. And then there would be a study on each of the planets. Here's some of them. I don't have all of them in front of me. Mer Mercury, Venus, <clears throat> Earth. And what we would do, I mean, we just took our time with this. With my young ones. I had a third grader, um, uh, first grader, and then like a preschooler-ish. But we would go to the library and get books out of the children's section on each of the planets. Should just sort of talk about them a little bit more and fill these out. And you can do this over a couple weeks period of time. It doesn't have to be um, all done in one day for sure. So, and another way we incorporated this plant um, student notebook pages is in here, is in the student book. These are some copies that I had made. And um, when they were younger, we incorporated it into a, like a little booklet thing about learning a little bit. We dug a little deeper, and we did put that page right here. So it's the same page, and um, colored it, and you could flip the things open and see the pollen and petals and all the insides of a plant. And then I printed off some more things that I just found free online. We got books about plants. I'm sure we watched some videos about plants. Um, and then I found some more things about germination. 
And this is just a suggestion. You don't even have to do all this. You could just follow the book. But this is for the parents that, well, what if we want to dig deeper? You can. Or you can just stay with what they've given you, and especially for younger children, this is plenty. And it gives you a whole lesson in the um, some vocabulary words and um, some Bible verses, all kinds of things. Usually I would at least spend a week on it and go over the vocabulary words. And I wasn't like, oh, let's memorize these. I just wanted them to hear them, be familiar with them. So when it comes around again, they knew something about it. So um, we also had one on weather. And you've seen this section in there about weather, but I think I made this own chart many years ago. And I happened to find um, these weather printouts online, and I actually glued them on that blue paper, and, and they were for the different clouds. And we spent some time on these, um, went over them, talked about them, got books on them. And um, there's so many of them going down. We would drive in the van to somewhere. We would point at the clouds and try to guess what kind they were. Um, it can be fun. It doesn't have to be stressful. It doesn't have to be memorized. There does not have to be a test. But you'd be amazed how much they learn and remember. But I do want to mention in the Dig Deeper um, section, there's they suggest all kinds of things but these are some videos I wanted to show you because I have boys that would like to a little bit um, visual and this was one of them and this is put out by Moody Press publications I'm sorry and we ended up finding several and I think they suggest several different ones and I have several of them and they have so many more than this on probably any subject you want to think about. And they are, I mean, to us, they would be outdated, but the information is there. And to me, it's informative. Um, this was really fun to watch because it was about um, Mount, Mount St. Helen. And the when the volcano exploded, there's one video in here about that and just some of the testimonies. So... The, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you some other videos, and that is pretty much just an idea of this curriculum, um, considering God's creation. Like I said, it's one curriculum. You could buy the student book. Um, I think you can buy the, um, like a PDF type thing, and it might be directly from them, and print them off. So, um, just want to encourage that. And if you have any questions about that curriculum, please let me know. Um, and I'd love to help you out there. So, I'm just going to mention some other videos. Science, it's always fun to watch videos. And these are some videos that I got from Answers in Genesis. And this is... Buddy Davis and his amazing adventures. And kids love this kind of stuff. So there's an Alaska one. There's an Ice Age one. There's several more. I'm trying to think. I want to say I have a few more of these. But um, there's a caving one that my boys really like because the caves he does are here in our state. So, and then this one was a little bit different. It was more of a creation team adventure. So, and these are from, I want to say, Mas yes, Master Books. And these are good. Full of information. And kids would really, would love these. So, um, another video, we got into birds one year, and I found this video, Your Backyard. Birds. And they were young. I mean third and under probably when we really did this maybe a little bit older but it, 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 they're long like this this is not something you watch in one setting so and this you can find things like this that are visual um, and to me it really it 
drew their interest for sure, even more so into birds. Um, there was another one. Okay, I wanted to show you these. These were actually, I'm not even sure where I found these. Animated about different scientists. So, wanted to mention those videos. So anytime you can use a visual, especially kids that would be like, can I watch a can I watch something? Well, sure, if it's <laughs> one of your science videos or one of your history videos. So, okay, I always... hope you enjoyed that and that I gave you just some ideas how you could take a curriculum and just add some different things to it. Maybe it doesn't mention those things, but there's so many options out there with audio and visual and even hands-on things that that you could do to help your child enjoy science and um, especially in the first second and third grade I mean they're not gonna grasp everything at your level I mean just don't want to make science so overbearing like you have to enjoy this you have to like this because I do I also wanted to mention um, we like to read even books books about scientists um, Albert Einstein Thomas Edison just recently, my son read this book, Carrying On, Mr. Bowditch, and he's sort of a self-learner, learned to navigate ships then, so he really enjoyed that. And also, just a couple other books we used over the years, The World of Animals, and this is God's Design for Life, the Answers in Genesis. I think Master Books sells them in a bigger, like, a thicker book now, like, because this would be, like, one of a set of three, I think. And... When we talked about the weather using, um, where, when I showed you the clouds and we talked about the weather, we would look at a book like this, the weather book. And these are also put out by Master Books. But, um, you know, we didn't sit there and read the whole book, but we might take a section and we might read through that, something that may be talking about specifically what we were talking about. They have some good pictures to, to show you different things. And they have several like um, geology and fossils. I had one son that was really into that kind of stuff and he enjoyed just looking through these. And then maybe next time he looked through them, he might read a little bit more. So sometimes a kid won't sit down and read the whole book at one time. They'll flip through and find what they, something that grasped their interest and they'll read that page and they'll come back again. So at least that's how my kids were. And now that I think about it, I'm probably that way a little bit myself when it comes to a book, like <laughs> finding what looks good on this. Okay, I appreciate you watching that video about um, my elementary science that we've used in the past and the different things that you can use, like audio and visual <laughs> and hands-on. Um, so many different things that you can use. I do encourage you to have some good resources around, like, like the weather book that I mentioned or the planet Earth the animal book and also like even something like this just something that you know is from a biblical creation point of view that is in your house now I still go to the library and we still get books and look at things but it's nice to know that I can pull these out on whatever subject that we're talking about um, whether it be you know geology about rocks or something because um, we have several different rock books we have a lot of books that I've just collected over the years and weeded out some, yes I did. <laughs> I did weed out some um, as my boys have gotten older, but it's just good to have available resources that you know are from a good creation-based background and um, you don't have to worry about what you've laid on the table and what they're reading and what they're looking at. So I really encourage that. And if you like this video um, and would like to see more homeschool content, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and share with your friends. So I really do appreciate you watching this video and I hope you all have a great day. Thank you so much.